Welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis Bravo, and today we are going to talk about the meaning of life. So I've separated the discussion into three different parts. The first part is going to cover what is the same for everyone. The second part is going to cover what is unique to every single person. And the third part is going to cover destiny, um, not in so many words as the next episode, which will focus on free will, but um, insofar as you'll get a good idea of what life's purpose is um, and how forms are organized therein. Right? So onto the first subject, right? So the first item here is what's true for everyone, right? Um, in life, uh, we are a part of this process of integration. We are integrating universal information occurring in multiple dimensions, multiple realms, worlds, universes, all at the same time in this very moment to live, not just to live, but to thrive. Um, so life is a means of qualifying the infinite, the eternal, the absolute, ubiquitous in the very substance of the universe into a specific, unique, and self-sufficient form. So that constitutes three separate items, right, um, within it. And these are emergence, evolution, and enlightenment. So when I say emergence, I'm talking about the fact that forms emerge from what is necessary to maintain a complete existence. Um, a complete existence entails the presence of every possible variant of life occurring simultaneously, or, or just like the fact that we're able to maintain a level of awareness and presence throughout all of the activities of our life. So as activities are, are, are going on, um, be it in our own person or in the persons of others, uh, or in the universe at large, we're still able to maintain some kind of like presence uh, or, or composure or integrity uh, or definition. Um, and this definition takes the shape of what's necessary to um, facilitate the functions of all of those other things, right? Facilitate all of those other activities. That's, that's a subject of emergence. It's the nature of emergence. So the second um, kind of item here is, uh, the, is evolution. And when I say evolution, I'm talking about how forms evolve from what is necessary to maintain a complete expression, uh, a complete ex or sorry, experience, <laughs> a complete experience uh, entails the synchronous activity of every possible event in life occurring simultaneously. So it's this it's this idea that all things must come to pass, all things do come to pass. So everything has its own term, uh, its its own timeline um, or uh, um, deadline. Uh, you could say, you know, everything is going to occur in the universe. It, it, it does occur. And so as we go through the trajectory of our life and, and we make it from one stage to another, our relationship to all of those events that are actually happening changes. And as they change, um, the uh, events themselves as they manifest and uh, actualize in our life change. And so we evolve from uh, really dense states of, um, of complete ignorance to really high level states of complete enlightenment. Um, so the third item here is enlightenment, right? And enlightenment is, 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 this fa is the nature of um, our ability to um, enlighten other forms to this, to the degree that we're able to complete an expression. Um, so, or, or, or we're able to relate a complete expression. Um, a complete expression entails a fulfillment of all potential nested within all individual forms. So it's not just the expression or the fulfillment of potential in our own individual lives, but it's the fulfillment of potential in any individual life form. It's, it's the very most that we can do in life as living beings to push forward towards the future, to progress, to, to, to become perfect, right? That's, that's the ultimate aim and object of enlightenment, right? So it, those three items are the, uh, probably the more important factors, uh, if not the most important and essential aspects of the integration of information in life. Uh, the thing that our minds or bodies or spirits are always in the process of doing. Um, and that's true for everyone, right? So second, right? What is unique to everyone? Well, the difference is, if you haven't noticed, there are differences in reality. Everyone has a different experience at the very least. Um, but there is this notion that we all come into life with different lots, right? Some people are, are very wealthy, some people are very poor, some people are horribly disfigured, some people are very healthy. Um, so 
The lives that we're born to are a consequence of what we profess about what is, what has always been, and will always be from the moment we're conceived. So it's, it's, a, it's a fact that in this very moment of conception, we are um, emanating a certain disposition regarding all of the things occurring in the universe uh, at that time. And this disposition changes and, and, and grows to become uh, our specific uh, personality over time, right? From conception to death. Um, we profess it in the sense that we believe it, right? So our disposition is what we, what we believe as a living being, as a living being about um, the ultimate nature of the universe. You'll notice that the closer we are to uh, reflecting the truth, um, the ultimate nature, uh, the better our lot in life tends to be. So uh, for those people who, who profess the truth and are in the truth and, um, you know, them and the transcendental nature of the universe, the, the oneness of God um, is uh, it, never at odds, um, those people um, typically have a really easy life. Um, there are uh, the opposites, uh, which are people who are, you know, fragmented. They're they're disintegrated. They they are astray from this universal truth. Sometimes they're even rebelling against it. Um, those people find it a lot more difficult to be at peace with the rest of the world, with the rest of the universe in general. Um, and they're given smaller lots. Uh, it's reflected in the in the karmic nature of of their realities. Um, so we'll talk a little bit more about that karmic nature in the next video when we touch on free will. Um, so stay tuned for that. But uh, on to the, to the third uh, item here is what is life destined for, right? What is what is this ultimate purpose of life that that everyone seems so uh, you know in, invested in or, or should be invested in? Uh, well, it, to sum it up, it, it's order. Uh, it's it's this idea that all things have a perfect relationship with one another at the highest level. And life on all levels is trying to meet that. It's trying to, to get there to the, to the perfect harmony, to the perfect balance. Um, so within that is, there, is this idea that life isn't just for survival, right? Um, it's for thriving. Um, in the Western world, evolution is a major concept that is at odds sometimes with creationism. Um, and it focuses a lot on the survival aspect of, of our evolution, that um, we change based on what we need to survive in a certain environment, right? And that's really low-level thinking. It's not that evolution is false. Evolution is true, and it's true on that level as much as it's true on all other levels, but there is a, there's a higher scope here, and I think that's what, we're, what I'm trying to relate anyway. Um, and that's the fact that we are in this life to thrive, to, to to excel in every department and every level um, and to be at one with all things that are at the highest level. Um, so it's about creating a paradise for ourselves and for our progeny for the future, um, about building institutions and, um, and monuments to the progress of all life in the universe. Um, it's to bring that sense of peace and, and goodness to um, other worlds or other universes that we may venture to in the future. Um, people who do this better than others uh, typically get ahead in life and they move on to more sophisticated forms uh, in the hereafter. Um, the, the work is to create something that outlasts us and to connect us with something that is eternal. So uh, things are organized in that way. Things that aren't able to do that in a sophisticated way get lesser forms like, like rocks um, or, uh, or metal, I don't know, <laughs> minerals, right? Um, but then, you know, the more sophisticated its ability to create order, the more sophisticated its vessel, right? So like human beings uh, or animals, I guess, in general, right? Um, but that's the idea, right? The things that are able to maintain and produce order uh, are the things that um, are fulfilling their, their destiny uh, as living beings uh, to the highest extent, right? 
So that concludes the three uh, ideas that, uh, that are necessary to kind of understand the meaning of life. Um, Obviously, everyone's going to have their own interpretation, and I am interested to see if you have a different one. If you have maybe different ideas um, or, or something that you could, you know, add to the conversation. Um, uh, and if you do, go ahead and put them down in the comments. Write them down in the comments, and and see if we can get a, a conversation started on the subject. Um, uh, if anything, um, uh, we might we might enlighten some people. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, please like, share, subscribe. Um, have a great one. <laughs>